Hi everyone, welcome back. Really quick look at farm, and um, yeah, it's holding the 618 and it's holding it strong. So if we just switch to the uh, to the minute, see exactly where it is. Yeah, it does not want to lose its grip on the 618. So um, more than likely, we shouldn't be dipping uh, much lower than where we are before we see. Uh, a nice move um, back to the upside so uh, it does look like we've been following the red prediction quite well but we haven't whipped down towards the 786 so it's really good to see um, it's not a problem if we do I don't expect us to actually make it back to the 786 if we did it would probably be a very brief wick um, a slight retest if you will um, and from there that shock of coming down might actually ignite some fresh movement so um, I'm still holding strong uh, 182 um, as the uh, prediction for the next leg up um, obviously if we come back to the 786 180 uh, or there or thereabouts will probably be the uh, um, the area that we like run out of steam um, whereas if we moved from the 618 where we are now uh, we may actually wick up to 185 before falling back to 182 sort of area um, long term as I said before there is not much resistance um, once you get past 180 to make it almost a hundred dollars higher so uh, this is definitely one to watch and definitely one that I'm closely monitoring um, my funds are all tied up at the moment sadly so I'm not in farm um, if I had been I probably would have been looking to have bought in at the 127 area um, especially when we put in the low and carried on consolidating so anyone who's already in brilliant um, this could be a good buy entry where we are but I probably want to watch it for another day or so just to make sure that we are buying at the optimum low um, so yeah not financial advice but very bullish on farm all right please do remember to like and subscribe I'll see you on the next one